Hello world, this is me again, Glugger Goss. Um, well, as you can see, I got my apron on again. Uh, only today it's different than normally. That means I'm with my family. They're going to pick a recipe. Um, so what we're going to do now, my sister and the daughter is going to pick a starter. Um, she's going to send me the movie in because we are not allowed to visit each other. And uh, Johan is going to pick a main and Nikki's going to pick a dessert. So let's see what they're going to pick today. Yes, I have uh, in the book gekeken. En ik vond hamburger deluxe een top idee. Ik ga het hier net eigenlijk zo doen. op kruimelbodem. En? Hamburger deluxe. Hamburger deluxe. En dan krijg ik ook nog een starter, dat zal zoek zijn of iets anders warms, maar dat zullen we zien. Dus eh, ik ga het van de week weer een keer koken en dan hoop ik dat het net zo lekker is als jullie denken. 3, 2, 1, toi, toi, toi! Hoi Guus, uh, je ziet dat ik in een tipi tent heb gezeten met Brut. Um, en uh, het recept is aspergesoep. En dat heb je nodig. En ja, toi, toi, toi! Hello world, today I'm going to do my cooking, but if you hear some noise in the background, it's my nephew playing FIFA and it's a very important game apparently, so if you hear some screaming, some noise, you know, it's, it's all good, nobody's going to die in the background. So what we got here first, of course my apron, which I always wear, um, then we're going to make the soups, my uh, niece Brit picked this one, it's going to be asparagus, I think that's in English, I don't know, asparagus soup, these are all the ingredients for the soup, so I think it's going to be nice and tasty. It's not from a cooking book, but from uh, Albert Heijn, it says supermarket here in the Netherlands and my sister and her daughter picked it um, so this Joran picked this one it's a burger hamburger deluxe uh, as you can understand there's gonna be some meat in it some ketchup some sugar Worcestershire sauce or however you pronounce that one salad and some uh, bread I did baking bread because it's easier and I could have more different choices and then the last one's gonna be a nice little dessert that this lovely lady picked uh, the dessert is going to be strawberry, I don't know, trans, I don't know what that is in English. But anyway, it's going to be involved strawberries. It's going to be bread in it, which is really strange. Uh, there has to be a couverture, which I don't know what it is in English, but it has to be a chocolate that's very creamy or buttery. Uh, for everyone who knows what kefir is, I'm sorry I bought it and I didn't make it myself, but I will let my niece know, uh, Nina, that kefir is very healthy and we're going to make her own if she's going to like this one. So, it's going to be a three-course meal today. I'm going to take my time to cook everything and, uh, well, hopefully it's going to be nice and tasty. So, what we've been doing in the beginning, it's simple but boring. Uh, just peel all the asparagus, uh, get all the skin off and uh, put that in the, pot, in the pan uh, because you're going to make stock out of it, I suppose. Um, make sure the hard bits are gone because you don't want to eat that. Uh, peel the potatoes, cut them in small pieces as well. It's going to thicken the soup later on. And these are the shallots, cut them small and we're going to fry them. So far, easy and simple to do. So fry the shallots with the curry powder. Boil the asparagus skin, I think you say, um, for half an hour. And the green stuff you see is the vegetable stock. So this has been boiling for half an hour. Again, I didn't know I could use the peels to get a stronger uh, stock. Uh, then this is going to go in, it's the asparagus and the potatoes and the onion. Throw everything in after the bouillon is strained. Then take a few bits and pieces out of the asparagus when they're soft. So you get some chunkies in it because the rest is going to be blended. And then decorate it with a bit of chopped parsley. Then should, should be the soup should be done. Oh no, I shouldn't forget the cream as well. Go groom in Dutch. Um, well, because I don't really measure everything I do, I just do it by eyesight. Um, well, I should show you this first. The soup is quite thin, so I want to thicken it up. So when I set one potato or two, I don't know, I don't even know. Uh, so I add more potatoes, chop them really small so it boils quite fast and then start blending up everything again. Because I really think it's allowed to be a bit thicky and creamy. So yeah, um, just See as you go, you know, you season it as well and you should think it's too thin. There's two things, or make sure there's less water in it or get more potatoes in it and then it's get thicker as well. Uh, so now we're going to start the dessert. Uh, why? Because the dessert needs to uh, cool down in the fridge and stiffen up. 
So I got my shape. It's one and a half liter, it says in the recipe. I got way too many strawberries, but I like them, so I eat half of them anyway while I'm cooking. Um, I like to play with food. So this is our the gelatine leaves. You need to soak them into the water. Um, after that, boil them until they're completely dissolved. Then add the kefir. Uh, the whole jar goes in it. Do that slowly, it says. And then the, the yogurt. It's not the exact yogurt that I needed to have, but I hope it's still going to work out as well. What I think is interesting about this recipe, um, well, I need couverture again. I don't know what it is in, uh, in English. But uh, I could use pure chocolate as well. This is 85% chocolate, but it should be more butter in it. So I'm not sure if I should add butter in it in the end. But I'll look up the recipe on Google and just wing it a bit so it will be fine. Uh, but it's going to go rye bread in it as well, which I've never used in a, in a dessert. So for me, it's again, it's a new thing that I'm learning. Um, so maybe you learn something from it too as well. So now get a small pan, make sure all this is with a bit of liquid, uh, the gelatine leaves. Uh, make sure it all dissolves. Then get this one in slowly but surely and then add the yogurt at once. I'm really curious how this is going to turn out. It says put a small layer of the yogurt kefir uh, gelatine mixture in the bottom um, and then let that stiffen up and then put the strawberries in. What it doesn't say is chop the strawberries smaller so I make quarters out of it because I think whole strawberries are too thick. So this is going to go in the fridge now later on, put a few strawberries on and then add the rest of the yogurt mixture. I really hope it stiffens up properly because I used too much of the yogurt so we'll see what's going to happen. If not we got a nice yogurt dessert. Also tasty, I think. All right, so the yogurt mixture stiffened up a little bit, so I put some strawberries in. I'm gonna add some more of the yogurt mixture. Hope I'm not gonna spill too much. Add this, then get some more strawberries in, just a few. I don't know how much, just get it in there. And then make sure it's not gonna be too much. There we go. But I measured it out, so it should be one and a half liter. Let's get it in. You know, top it off with a few more strawberries and then later on when everything's stiff get the chocolate and rye bread I think you call it rye bread mixture on So for the bottom of the dessert, uh, Aubin Marie, uh, we melt the chocolate and I looked it up with the differences with the chocolate that they advised me But there's none uh, when you're working from home. You can just use pure chocolate. I used 85% Cacao, I think that's the English one as well, but for me the combination with this uh, with the rye bread It's called pumpernickel in Dutch, but it should be a rye bread from Westfalen, like that's an area in Germany. And we're gonna mix it in with the chocolate and that's gonna be the bottom of the dessert. I am so curious how that's gonna work out. Well, it does look very tasty though. Um, I did use a bit more chocolate than said. It said 80 grams and I used 100. I just love chocolate. So this is stiffened up quite all right. I hope it's stiffened up enough so I can put the bottom on top of it. So this is the before. So this is the after. It's quite tricky to get it like equally covered everywhere but yeah, I just did it by hand I think that's easier than with a spatula so it looks all right now let's stiffen up it has to stiffen up for six hours I'm not sure if, if the family can wait that long but I should have started earlier but well I did not patience is a virtue well the recipe that uh, Joran chose for me the, the hamburgers are, are not quite difficult it is basically get the meat, get every ingredient in. But what it says as well, it says three spoons of tomato sauce. Um, but you could also use barbecue sauce. So what I'm doing is I use tomato sauce because that's a base of barbecue sauce as well. And it goes some, I don't know how I pronounce it, but Worcestershire sauce in it. A bit of sugar, paprika powder, some acid like uh, lemon. Um, and a few more things, but I just throw half of the bits and pieces in because I do like washi sauce, a um, bit of sugar and paprika. So I'll get those ingredients in instead of the barbecue sauce. Um, so it should be fine. Mix all this together, leave it in the fridge, let it cool down and, and, and you know mingle up and all that. And then make nice burgers from it. So I've done the soup, I've done the dessert. This is going to be the main dish. Uh, the oven is on for the bread and I'm getting quite hungry and the rest is as well, I, I believe. Uh, we just had the soup, I forgot to film it, but I will ask the reaction later on. Uh, the burgers are going to go on the barbecue, I'll put them on a, a platter so I can fry the onion as well. Uh, get some butter on the burgers, yes, yes, I know raw meat and, and, and bread next to each other. Just fry it a bit longer, it'll be all fine. So this is going to be in the barbecue, get some nice onions in it, and I hope they're going to like it. And me too. So, 
The burgers are almost done. Grill the wrap for a little bit and then serve. All right, so here we are. We had the soup, we had the main. Uh, well, it was all right. And the, the most people were enthusiastic about the soup. Um, this is going to be the dessert, but it had to rest for six hours. But we're all hungry and very impatient. So we just waited. Hold on. Four hours. Four hours. So I hope it's not going to We hope crash. it will be all right. Pray. So do you. Yeah, Three, two, eight, boom. Okay, very exciting. Uh oh. Oh, oh. Oh, rustig, rustig, rustig. oh. middenstuk zit er nog in. Come on. <laughs> <laughs>